Yeah, a very good morning to both of you and welcome into the Tabina Arts Centre. At this stage, there's a bar behind me, which in the evenings is, of course, kicking with music, concerts, venues, comedy. But many places in this city have been transformed as the war started. This concert venue now being used as a school. We're going backstage here and look, there we go, backstage. This is where all the artists would normally prepare to get ready. Today and for the last few weeks, it's been in a school. Let's sort of creep in. Lessons haven't quite started yet. We sort of kick off with maths at nine o'clock. Um, but lots of children and their families have come here. This is a place for Ukrainian families set up by Ukrainian teachers who've come here, who've decided it's really important to provide a place of lessons. I'm just going to interrupt, actually. This is Arena. Sorry. Hello. I'm talking to one of the teachers. Can we come in through into the classroom? So these actually are the changing rooms for the artists today classrooms let's come in Irina thank you very very much for speaking to us you're here with uh, three of your children two of your boys uh, and, a, and a daughter just explain when was it that you came from Ukraine to Hungary and how did you get here um, I I spent in in my country I'm from Chernihiv uh, 10 days and uh, and and then I left uh, Chernihiv state uh, for four days in Ukraine and then I decided to go to Europe because I didn't feel uh, safe there especially with three kids and uh, I came to Hungary uh, two weeks ago and and I would like to say uh, thank you very much to all people who help us and support us in this beautiful country. It's been a, a very traumatic couple of weeks for your family. This is just a stopgap, isn't it? Because where do you want to go? Yes, this is just the, the stop because I, I understood that I have to decide which country should I take because my city is completely destroyed and I can't to come back to my city and I I decided to choose uh, England because I know English and I think it will be much better for me to uh, live there and find a job. You're quite unusual as a family, you know, the, the team here, we've been here for three weeks and we haven't met many Ukrainians trying to get to the UK. Just explain to us what the process has been like so far. UK government opened uh, two opportunities for Ukrainian. One of uh, opportunity is a family visa if you have some relatives there. I don't have. That is why I choose second uh, wave is a sponsor program. What do you need to do first? Um, you need to find a sponsor. You can't uh, find, there are a lot of uh, charts, uh, no, there are a lot of pages in Facebook where you can uh, put some, informa some information about your family and in in, in, in English families uh, will uh, a answer you. Uh, and when you find uh, a sponsor, sponsors, uh, uh, a sponsor is supposed to apply so, uh, some application. And second step is you have to apply for visa and, and wait. It's what are we doing now? We, we are just waiting, waiting for the answer. Do you know when you might get any clarity on when you can go to the UK? No idea. No ideas because this is the first program even for UK government and I don't know how many days or weeks it will take. I know the plan is to get to London. We're going to stay in touch and when you get there, of course, we'd love to meet you and see how you yeah. and your three children are getting on. Arena, thank you very much for speaking to us and uh, just talking us through what the process has been like. We should probably um, vacate this room because maths is about to start. Uh, really just makeshift lessons, makeshift classrooms in these uh, changing rooms for lots of children. As for in Arena's case, they are waiting to work out what happens next. When will they get that permission to say, yeah, your documents are sorted, uh, London is the next stop.